Hello, hello, Mordimer is here and welcome to another insane game played by the supercomputers. This time I would like to show you the game played during the Alpha Zero simulation match 2020. Uh, it was played a couple of weeks ago and I already show you one game from that match. And it was pretty insane because we had the French defense, four queens on the board um, and I also show you some lines with the five queens on the board. So um, it was it was very, very exciting. If you haven't seen that, check over there um, you can you can click that bubble and check that game as well uh, i'm go also gonna leave the the link in the in the first comment uh, and this time again we have lila chess zero uh, who's gonna play as white and stockfish who's gonna play as black first nine moves are as always pre-arranged and this time we're gonna have chigorin defense so without further ado let's see what happened on the board we have d4 d5 c4 knight c6 so chigorin defense on the board knight f3 bishop g4 c takes on d5 bishop takes on f3 g takes on f3 queen d5 now attacking the pawn twice so um, e3 defending and now e5 attacking um, even one extra time knight c3 now attacking the queen so bishop b4 pinning that knight bishop d2 and pinning and now bishop takes on c3 b takes on c3 and this position was reached by a lot of you know super grandmasters so uh, alexander grishuk magnus carlsen played that gary kasparov nigel short hikaru nakamura and so on so very well known position we have also one more move queen d6 uh, and this is end of the book so all these moves were pre-arranged and now the engines are on their own so what exactly is going on on the board? Uh, we have pair of bishops for white and this massive pawn center, massive pawn center. Also two open files, semi open files, B file and G file as white. So white has a pretty clear plan to play and um, take some advantage on the semi open files and play with the pawn center, massive pawn center. Uh, we have rook B1 now attacking B7 pawn, so B6 and now rook G1. So the rooks goes to the semi open files, uh, pretty obvious. We have G6 and now F4. So starting to attack this pawn um, on e5. Now, how to react with black? We have e takes on f4 and now e4 with the idea of pushing the pawn on e5 and then taking the pawn later. So white keep the pawn center and now, you know, uh, covers all the squares uh, in the center. Uh, we have castle by stockfish and now e5 as planned and now queen e6 with the attack on the on the a2 square and now uh, of course taking the pawn is possible however lila chess zero play queen g4 uh, pinning the queen we have f5 so stockfish is not interested in the in the exchange and of course uh, taking the pawn and passau is not possible because the pawn uh, is pinned so we have queen e2 and now if black actually takes the pawn on a2 it's possible however white would simply exchange the queens and it's forced because queen a6 the queen is under attack we have also the check so queen a6 bishop a6 king b8 now bishop f4 and white are down the pawn however this pawn is a you know past pawn protected past pawn also uh, it's very very solid position pair of bishops is another asset uh, and black still have you know undeveloped pieces so even down the piece the position of white is a uh, pretty pretty awesome so stockfish found another idea believe me or not rook d4 rook d4 so we're gonna have the huge imbalance but how big this imbalance gonna be we have c takes on d4 knight takes on d4 so for now this is the rook for three pawns however of course this pawn could be taken for now the queen is under attack so queen a6 king b8 and now bishop f4 actually could be played however it is not so great because the king is still in the center so what white should do is actually uh, exchange the queens if, if it's possible now for example knight f3 uh, king d1 and now black 
of course cannot take the rook uh, because if the rook is taken immediately then bishop g2 and this is very dangerous mating idea so uh, black would have to play something like c6 uh, however this completely weakened the pawn structure so now white actually can um, sacrifice the rook and win the game rook b6 a takes on b6 now bishop c6 and uh, checkmate is coming queen c6 doesn't help because e6 with check and there is only one move all of the squares around are of course covered so uh queen c7 now queen b6 with check and after king a8 we gonna have a checkmate in the next move so it's not even possible but after king d1 instead of taking the rook uh, what black could play actually is queen d5 with check moving the queen on this important diagonal so with tempo king c1 and only now take uh, the rook and now black is totally fine here and the game can continue so this was possible however better for for white actually is bishop c3 so this is what lila chess zero played so the knight is under attack and again knight f3 doesn't work again for the different reasons however i will show you after king d1 knight g1 uh, bishop g2 doesn't work because of the f3 so f3 of course is, is defended by the knight so not this way however bishop c4 with the attack on the queen and after let's say queen e7 bishop d5 and again uh, black are in troubles okay so uh, very dangerous position without light square bishop the position is really easy to be exploit and uh, these light squares are just too weak to, to defend so c5 is possible but it doesn't help again rook can join the attack uh, and after a takes on b6 queen b6 all of this is lost king c8 bishop a5 and this is actually forced mate, mate in two uh, for, for example uh, knight h6 or whatever move doesn't really matter queen c6 and this would be a checkmate as the bishop controls c7 so this way or another that's gonna be a checkmate so knight f6 is not possible again this is why we have queen e5 very reasonable move picking up yet another pawn uh, with check with tempo so we have king d1 and now knight f6 development first so even stockfish knows that of course we have queen b5 now asking to exchange the queens uh, of course taking the queen is not possible because after knight b5 bishop e5 this knight is under attack this knight is also under attack so um, rook d8 is possible king c1 knight e4 so one of the knights can be saved but not another one and white has uh, you know a lot of advantage extra bishop extra rook should be enough to stop actually um, four pawns so not this way this is why we have queen e4 avoiding the exchange but lila chess zero in this the position you know in the center with the king is a very dangerous so this is the priority to exchange the queens queen d3 now not only asking to exchange the the queens but also attacking the the knight twice so we have rook d8 played by stockfish and now finally queen e4 we have knight e4 now going after uh, yet another pawn and trying to create the past pawns uh, but also there are some discoveries so first bishop d4 rook d4 king c1 and now knight f2 so what is going on on the board we have actually five pawns against the rook that's uh, quite an imbalance uh, but that's not everything rook g2 now i'm um, attacking the knight so knight g4 and now rook d2 asking to exchange even more pieces and of course it's very very dangerous because bishop can come to a6 uh, and that would be the checkmate uh, and yes rook could go to for example a4 however then bishop b5 attack that, that rook rook a5 bishop c6 uh, and now we're gonna have another checkmate this way so black actually would be forced to exchange the rooks for example rook c5 rook c2 and after exchanging uh, we would have the the similar position so this is why we have rook d2 immediately by stockfish king d2 and now knight h2 winning yet another pawn 
and this is the biggest imbalance we can see in that game six pawns these are six pawns against the rook now the question uh which side would we like to play would you like to have the six pawns or maybe the rook that's uh, you know you can you can write the comment uh, under because this is very interesting how would you like to play in this position as white or as black uh, Lila just zero play bishop a6 so definitely there are still some checkmate ideas on the board so c5 making the space for the for the king king of course would like to go, get to the center we have rook h1 now uh, attacking the knight so knight f3 with check king c3 um, and now as the pawn on h7 is attacked so knight g5 uh, and now king c4 so this king actually get to the center much faster as you see we have king c7 king d5 king d7 and now rook e1 so this rook definitely would like to play on the open file for now the king um, defends all of these squares but how to continue as black because this can be really easily exploited as the king stays on the light square so the bishop can come to, to b5 so for example if black would like to push the pawn very natural move the problem is bishop b5 and now where are you gonna move the king uh, because rook is coming to the seventh rank and how dangerous is the rook on the seventh rank king c7 rook e7 with check and now if the king tries to defend the problem is this is actually the mating net and you cannot do much about that okay king b6 you're gonna get checkmated you can start to run but it doesn't really matter because this is a checkmate so you even cannot defend that pawn you would have to play something like king d8 and after rook a7 uh try f2 but the bishop defends um, f1 so black would have to try to bring the the knight maybe to to d2 or maybe to g3 try to you know uh exchange the pawn for the for the bishop but you know is it possible after let's say a4 knight e4 uh, rook h7 of course is not possible in this case because that would be disaster that is the fork so it's guarded pretty well however rook d7 first with check and now if you play something like king e8 then of course rook h7 is possible with check discover check so king f8 and now king c6 and what white can do is pick up these pawns and win the game uh knight d2 of course is is calculated king b6 uh and this is of course winning this is definitely winning for white this pawn gonna win the game so this doesn't work however it doesn't matter if the king goes to c8 is is you know mating net again and uh, black cannot do much if they try to actually uh, advance the pawn then bishop a6 and this is the this is the checkmate in the next move so even if they queen then doesn't really matter this is a checkmate so f3 would be just too early very important is to block them the e file so this is why we have knight e4 by stockfish and now bishop b5 anyway we have king c7 and now king e5 going after the pawn so f3 uh, and now rook f1 so going after the pawn which is on the on the light squares and now how to continue f2 doesn't work because bishop d3 uh, and the knight gonna be eliminated and then then the pawn as well if the knight is moved then of course the same so doesn't really work this is why we have knight g5 by stockfish defending the pawn uh, and now if white tries to play something like uh, king f6 then knight e4 and we would have just threefold repetition so doesn't really work and if king f4 going after this pawn and the knight at the same time the problem is knight e6 comes with check and you cannot take this pawn because you're gonna lose the game uh, with this beautiful fork so pretty complex position so this is why we have a4 defending the bishop and now this is an issue so we have king b7 now trying to kick the bishop bishop goes back to c4 and now king c7 bishop d5 so going after this pawn this way uh, and it's not possible actually to defend that pawn so we have king d7 
bishop f3 and now the question is for black take that bishop exchange the bishop for the knight or not uh, actually if black exchange it looks like okay black maybe could win this is you know pure five pawns However, it's not really possible because the pawns are not, not advanced and the king has a really great, you know, central uh, position. So it's not possible. Let's say king c6 trying to support the pawns, um, but then rook h3 going after that pawn and just eliminate the, the pawns, you know, one by one. If b5, then the problem is that black gonna have isolated pawns which, has, which are very easy to, to eliminate so for example uh, king d5 and after uh, rook c3 is coming so after king b4 uh, rook h4 and this rook actually can come uh, to c4 el eliminate the pawn so uh, what black would have to play like something like king c3 and maybe try to help this pawn but it doesn't work as well because king c5 king d3 and the king just follow uh, and it's not possible actually to advance with this pawn and if black tried to advance with tempo, for example, white also has tempo with the with the check. So after king d2, the king can eliminate the pawns um, and win the game. So not really possible. What black could try to actually keep the, the pawns connected, but it also doesn't work. Because let's say a6, rook h7, uh, b5, a takes on b5, a takes on b5. Now bring the rook to the 8th rank and after let's say b4, and uh, rook c8 and it looks like okay king can escape somewhere but the king is in the central position king d5 and this pawn gonna fall and it, there is no way actually to stop so this king in the center gonna just win the game so it's not even possible to exchange the, the bishop for the knight so this is why we have knight e6 bishop d5 attacking the knight so knight goes back to g5 and now a5 trying to destroy the, the pawn structure we have b5 and now rook b1 attacking the pawn so b4 avoiding that and now rook d1 so threatening some some discoveries and now after king c7 we would have simply rook c1 uh, and it's impossible to defend that pawn because uh, watch at this wall this is just the wall and the, and the king cannot uh, progress so um, that would be very easy win so we have f4 trying to deflect the, the king first we have bishop c4 trying to to block this this pawn so the pawn can can't move uh, we have king e7 and only now takes on f4 we have h6 defending the knight uh, and now a6 so advancing the pawn now the idea is to bring the rook to the 7th rank, eliminate h7 and win the game. We have knight e6 with check, uh, king e5, so now the knight again is under attack. We have knight d4 blocking the rook, so rook goes to f1, now getting to the 7th to the rank this way, but now knight f5 blocking, so look at this knight. This knight going uh, between f5 and, and d4 and uh, the rook cannot advance. But now we have bishop e6, so attacking the knight this way. And of course knight d4 is not possible because rook f7 and the rook is on the 7th rank and easily wins the game. So for example king d8, rook d7, uh, if the king goes to c8 we're gonna lose the, the knight for free so uh, king e8 but then king f6 and we're gonna have the, the mating net here not much can be done b3 can be pushed but after rook a7 this is a checkmate so king d8 avoiding that but still rook d7 and what you're gonna do next king e8 um, and now a7 and that's gonna be a checkmate knight a6 is possible but then you cannot do anything here and that's gonna be a checkmate so knight d4 is not possible because the rook gonna advance to the seventh rank this is why we have b3 but b3 it gives the 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 pawn for free so we have bishop b3 c4 bishop c4 uh knight d3 
could be played but it doesn't really matter because again rook f7 is coming um, and after king e8 simply bishop e6 and everything is fine this knight cannot even go anywhere because all the squares around are controlled by the bishop and and so on so it's completely lost so we have knight d6 attacking the bishop and now bishop go back to e6 so for now the knight controls f7 and the rook cannot access this way however after h5 black tries to push the pawns we have rook d1 threatening to take the knight so knight f7 with check and finally lila h0 exchange the bishop for the knight so bishop f7 king f7 and now rook d7 king g8 rook a7 and now black just push the pawn there is nothing they, more they can do so we have h4 rook b7 h3 a7 h2 and in this position uh stockfish got checkmated so as you see the rook together with the bishop were able to stop the the pawn storm six pawns uh, and the knight were not enough to actually win that game pretty amazing and uh, i was expecting you know that the pawn's gonna be stronger but in this case that was not possible beautiful game i like it very much if you like as well press like if for some reason you don't like it press and like um, and if you want to see more interesting games of the engines and other games press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one